Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 30 of the video podcast, Me and My Dog and Some Yarn. My name is Kim and I'm your host. I'm also known as Black Horse on Ravelry and Black Horse Knitter on Instagram. So welcome. Uh, today is July 20th, 2014. It is a Sunday and um, yeah, it's been two weeks since I spoke to you guys. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I had a wonderful two weeks, extremely busy, uh, but fun. Uh, last weekend, I did not film because we went to San Antonio for my husband's uh, family reunion, and they have not had one in at least 50 years, so it was really fun. We got to see people that we uh, haven't seen in a while, people that we have never met, um, he has some family um, that lives up in Cleveland, Ohio, and they came down. So it was wonderful, and we had the best time. We stayed in San Antonio, uh, but it was actually, the, the reunion was actually in New Braunfels. And it was, I guess, on the outskirts of New Braunfels, between New Braunfels and San Antonio. And... Um, my husband Vince has a cousin who lives uh, out that way, and so we were able to rent his clubhouse in his neighborhood, and it was amazing. It was like a resort. It was so pretty. They had um, the building itself looked like a Spanish mission, and then um, it had a huge room where we set up all the tables and and had the actual party. And then it had uh, like a breezeway where you could actually sit outside and barbecue if you wanted, but we didn't use that portion. Um, they had a huge swimming pool. They had a huge baby pool. And behind it, they had a lazy river, which was really amazing. The kids loved that. So we had a wonderful time. We were there. Um, my sister-in-law's and myself were there at 8.30 in the morning setting up, and we did not leave until about 10 o'clock that night. Um, we just had an amazing time. So much fun. Um, I hope we don't wait another 50 years to have one again. So hopefully it will be an annual thing or at least every other year. Um, yeah, that's, that's where I was last weekend. That's why I did not film. So how are you guys? I hope you're doing well. Um, I've been really, really busy. I finished um, I finished one sock um, on, on the trip. Let me see if I can grab it. It's stuck on something here. On the trip, sorry about that, I knitted from about here all the way to about here, from here to here on the trip in the car and I finished the last bit of it. This is my husband's socks. Um, I need to buy large sock blockers. This is the medium. This is the one I use for my own socks. But uh, this will give you an idea of what it looks like. It is the Stars at Night the Stars at Night socks by me, Kimberly Dominic. And um, I knit them. I didn't change the stitch or the amount of stitches on the needle because the fabric that it creates is very stretchy. So what I did was I went seven and a half inches um, from here until I started the rib and then instead of doing 10 rows of the rib I did 15. Um, and my husband tried them on last night and he loves them so I will go ahead and start the other sock today and hopefully knit it a lot faster than I did this one. This one sat for quite a bit of time. One, because of the shawls and two, because it's white and I don't like knitting, just plain white. So anyways, that's that. Um, and that is knit out of... Um, Let's see what it's knit out of. Premier Yarns. Um, yeah, Premier Yarns. 
I got it at uh, Michael's, I believe. He wanted something plain, so. And I wasn't sure if he would like the socks. So I just went with an inexpensive yarn that I could find at the craft store to give it a try. And he likes them, so I will probably make some more for him. I'm thinking Christmas. Christmas gifts. All right. Um, okay, so that's one project that I have going on. Another project I have is the, uh, let's see, Mrs. Bakery Bear. Um, it's in one of my patriotic bags. And the pattern is Mrs. Bakery Bear by um, Kay Jones. And it looks like this. And I have worked on it a little bit. Last time when you saw it, I only had the head finished. And I now have, I have the body. And I have an arm. And I have... I have a nose and an ear and let's see I have another ear so I'm doing better I have uh, done some work on this and I'm using the I love this cotton and it is in the twisted um, well, it's the twist, and it's the number 400 brown monkey colorway. So, um, I'm excited about that. I'm getting close to having all of the pieces for my bear, and so I can sew her together. She's really cute. She's fun to knit. Um, so, yeah, that's Mrs. Bakery Bear. Then, I have... Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm running out of room. Okay. I couldn't help myself. I had to cast on another project. I don't know what my what my problem is with casting on too many projects, but I have and I could not wait to start these socks. They're the Mystic Spiral Socks by Josh Reichs, I think. R-Y-K-S, and they are super cute. I've seen a bunch of people knitting this, a bunch of projects on Ravelry, so of course I had to start these. And I was gifted this yarn by um, Michelle Belly, I think is how you say the name. Her name is Michelle on Ravelry, and she gifted me this beautiful yarn it's made in Italy. I forgot the name of it. And I don't have the label in the in my project bag, but these are turning out so stinking cute. I love these. Um, this is my first one. And as you can see, um, they are worked in short rows. And it is just, it is so much fun to knit. I have knit on this t uh, two, two times sitting down. One, I did the toe in the car on the way back from New Braunfels. And then one night I sat down and I did sections one and two of the pattern. And I love it. Um, the color isn't showing up really pretty on my camera. It's brighter than that. It's kind of muted on the camera. But it is so cute. Um, I just love them. I can't wait to finish it and try it on. Um, so that is another work in progress. And I have more works in progress, but that's, that's the only ones that I'm working on currently. I do have, um, two things I want to knit. Um, oh no, no, I have one more project. I forgot about this one. And this one's almost finished. This is the Liesel uh, by Yolseta. I don't know how to say her name. Um, Teague. Anyways, um, this 
is knitted from the top down. And I'm using Nick Knit Picks uh, Worsted um, Shine Shine. It's cotton yarn, and it is so cute. I wanted to finish this for the family reunion, um, but I had some problems with it, and it's not really the pattern's fault. Um, I didn't have enough yarn, and I started the sleeves. I was going to make three quarter length sleeves, but I found out I didn't have enough. So instead, I ripped it back out to where the sleeves were, and then I dropped a stitch. So I had to go all the way back out and rip the whole thing out and start over. Then I read, um, I noticed it was fitting a little bit tight. I read a bunch of project pages, and a lot of people said that um, they went up a size because of the way it was knitting up. So. I went ahead and cast on the bigger size at that point, and I love it. It is really, really cute. I'm going to have to go shopping for some buttons. I have two more skeins of yarn, so I will have enough to make it the length that I want. Really, really cute. I can't wait to finish this one and wear it this summer before, before fall. Um, be cute with a t-shirt or um, a tank, white tank. So that is my plan. And then I have another project that I want to do. This one is, there's not a pattern for it. Um, okay, so last year I bought a really cute purse at Charming Charlie's. And if you don't live in Houston or they're starting to branch out in Texas now and a few other states. They started out here in Houston. It is a um, accessory store for women and they have the cutest jewelry. It's all very inexpensive. Well, they sell bags too and I bought this particular bag and I love it. It's, um, it's not leather but it's made to look like leather and it's huge. It's very roomy inside. It's got a big zipper on one side. It's got pockets on the other side. And the very back, it's got a zipper and it's extreme. Well, no, this one's short. My other purse has a longer pocket, but this one's short. Great for keys. That's where I normally keep my keys. But um, the only thing is when I pulled it out of my closet this year, uh, to wear this summer. It started peeling, but it's only peeling in one spot. It's peeling right where the handle attaches to the purse. So I thought, I'll just get rid of it. And then I thought, no, you know, it's it's a nice bag. It's only peeling there. It's not peeling anywhere else. And it's super cute and it's super roomy. And I thought, this would make a great knitting bag. Um, so I purchased some yarn and I think I'm going to knit um, some like a like a tube kind of to go through this and attach here and then to follow through the top part then back down here and do that on both sides of the bag. So, look what I bought. And I've already forgotten how to pronounce this again. I guess I should have. Kigoi? Coat? Yeah, Kigoi? I don't know. I've, I've messed up again with remembering how to pronounce that. I love this yarn. I just can't say the name of it. Um, but this is in the, um, the KPPPM um, blend. It's 100% uh, worsted, I believe. I mean, 100% merino wool. It's 175 yards. And is it Kugloy? Gosh, I wish I could remember how to say that. Anyways, the colorway is P441. And... I bought this on a trip this weekend. 
a day trip. We went to Austin, my mom and my dad and myself, and I think it matches really good. I wanted something with yellow in it. So I bought two of these. And that's my next project. I would like to finish at least um, the Liesl sweater or my husband's socks or the Mystic socks before I begin this. So we'll see how long I can hold out. So, um, okay, so I've been bad. I am definitely a wool pig. Um, I have been wanting to go to Austin forever. So last week we drove back through um, when we left New Braunfels, San Antonio, we went back through uh, down to, I guess it was, I wasn't paying attention. I was knitting. We went through Austin and I asked my husband, I said, hey, can we stop it? Um, at uh, Hill Country Weavers because I need some yarn and he says you don't need any yarn you have a whole cabinet of yarn and we need to get back and I said well if you don't stop I'm gonna have to come up here in the next few weeks and he said that's fine I think he didn't think I would actually go so um, anyways I didn't get to go to Hill Country Weavers we had to get back because my son was picking up his friend at the airport so we were on a time crunch so I went this past weekend, this weekend, yesterday, to Austin. I asked my mom if she wanted to go, and then my dad said, well, I'd kind of like to go too. So we all three went to Austin, and um, we had so much fun. We stopped in Giddings at uh, Takiera Chihuahua and had breakfast tacos, which were huge and delicious and authentic. We weren't hungry all day long. In fact, we didn't eat lunch until about 2 o'clock coming back towards Houston. Um, let's see. When we got there, we went to Barnes & Noble, and we got um, some books from my dad because he loves history, and he um, collects books. I can't remember. I wish I should have looked up the name. There's uh, books here in Houston, and there are they're about specific portions of Houston or outskirts of Houston and I know they have them across America because when we were in New York I bought one on the Statue of Liberty and on um, Ellis Island and they had them up there so uh, when I woke up yesterday morning I thought well my dad's gonna be pretty bored at the knitting store I hope he brings a book and if not we'll go to Austin and we'll pick him up um, some books because Austin surely has some um, around Austin. And so they did. We got him one on Austin and one on 6th Street in Austin. So anyways, after that, we went to uh, Hill Country Weavers. And I was a total wool pig. Um, I have, there's yarn stores here in Houston, but I don't particularly care for any of them. Knitting in the Loop is probably my, my favorite here in Houston, but they don't have a huge variety. Not like Hill Country Weavers. So, I guess what I did. I was bad. Um, first, I bought two skeins of this for my um, purse, knitting bag, whatever. Then, since I love the Turkish bed socks so much, I bought this one. This is the same uh, wool. Kugoy? I know I'm saying that wrong. This is colorway P815, and I love it. It's pink and orangey. Pink and orange and blue and turquoise. Just really, really cute. They're going to be Turkish bed socks. Then... I bought Jilly Dream, and this is in the, it's a fingering weight yarn, and it is 100% super wash merino wool, and there are 440 yards on this one, and so I'm not sure what this is going to be, um, probably a shawl of some kind 
really pretty. It's blues and purples. It's pretty accurate to color right there. And then, I love, love this one. I could not leave without this. It's Madeline Tosh, and it is Prairie, which I believe is a lace weight. Yes, it's a lace weight, 840 yards. That's pretty true to color. Uh, it is pink and mauve and a little bit of brown. Really super pretty. Um, uh, vintage Sand is the colorway, and it is gorgeous, and this is definitely going to be a shawl. It might be a Rock Island shawl, because I've been wanting to knit that, um, but we'll see. When it's time to cast on, I might change my mind. Um, I didn't buy it for any particular shawl, so um, I just knew it was beautiful and I had to have it. And then I bought... I bought... Um, Regia, and it is the uh, fluorescent colorway. It's color number, uh, I think it is um, 07187 is the colorway. Very, very pretty. It had several different kinds of fluorescent. Reminds me of the 70s. Um, they had one that had blues, they had one that had oranges, and they're just really, really pretty. And if I like my Mystic Spiral Socks, I might make these in that pattern as well. We'll just see. And then my dad bought me um, some Jitterbug. And it's coming apart. I was in a neon color yesterday. Can you guys tell? This is pink. It looks muted on the camera. It is actually a bright fluorescent pink. Um, really, really bright. Camera is not doing it justice. It's really washed out on the camera, but it is a bright neon pink um, yarn with a little bit of blues and a little bit of purples, but mostly pink. And it is in the Fuchsia number 44 colorway, and it is just beautiful. It is, um, it's, the yarn is made in Wales, it's 400 yards, and it's 100% merino wool. Um, usually I like to have a little bit of nylon in my socks, so this probably won't be socks. Um, I was thinking maybe a sock head hat and some fingerless gloves, but I'm not sure. Um, I guess I'll decide later. When it gets closer to winter, I'll try to pick something. And then my dad bought me um, this little bag here. It is, um, it's called the Pretty Cheap Project Bag, and it's www.fia.biz. And really, really cute. I love hummingbirds, so I chose this one. It's drawstring. Um, just really cute. So, I love it. And then, my dad bought another one. And this one, I'm going to give away on my podcast. So, he donated this bag for you guys. So, um... I will open up a thread after I finish filming, and this one will be yours. It's got a cute little bird on it. Really, really cute. And, yeah, so that's that. That will be a, a prize for next week. And I guess that's about it. Um, we stopped by... Um, in Elgin on the way home and ate at um, Southside Market and I've got a little buttermilk pie for later in the week when I get craving a sweet 
been trying to stay on a gluten-free diet because I think I'm allergic to gluten. I feel better when I don't eat it. Um, but later, if I start craving something, I might just have to splurge and try that out. Let's see, what else? Um, and then, last week I ordered, I placed an order on Etsy with a um, Etsy store called Republic of Wool. And this came in. I originally thought that I might use this. For my bag but I was really when I ordered it I was really thinking I wanted something with yellow and although this matches my bag really pretty I think this has to be socks probably Collie Wobbles because I've been wanting to try that pattern and um, this is Republic of Wool and the the colorway is Space Ghost and it is um, merino wool and nylon and here is the, the um, the tag and I love this yarn it's um, squishy it looks like it's more of a light fingering to me um, instead of just a fingering but it's beautiful and it's definitely going to be socks it's pinks well it's not really pink it's lavender and a dark plum color and a light turquoise and a dark turquoise. Very, very pretty. So, you think I have enough yarn to get me through a few months? I don't think I need to buy any yarn for a while. Not until the uh, yarn crawl in October. My mom and I have already planned it. We're going to go for a full weekend this year. We only went for one day last year, so we're going to spend the night, at least one night, um, probably start off in San Antonio and then come back through Austin and back down to Houston. But we'll see. We don't, we don't have the complete plans yet. We just know we're going and we're going to spend the night this time. So, um, oh, yesterday when I ran into the bookstore to get a book for my dad, I also picked up the latest edition of the Vogue Knitting. And it's got some really cute things in it. Um... I love this. I'm probably going to try to make this at some point. Um, it is just a, a cardigan. And the camera is not focusing well. But it's got like this lace portion down at the bottom. Really, really cute. I like this one. And then I also liked... Um, well, I like this one too. It's really cute. Made out of either fingering or lace. I haven't looked it up yet, but it looks very thin, um, which is perfect here for Houston because we don't get a lot of cold weather. And then I like this one too. That is just super cute. I like that it's knit out of two different. Um, yarns. I don't know that I really like this little leafy thing going on up at the top here. Probably would leave that off if I knit this. But it's really cute. I like the colors. Otherwise, I just don't like the little leaves that they've added to the top. So, anyways, that um, is something I got yesterday. And then um, last week, which I didn't film, but last Sunday, my mom bought me this, and it's a uh, Morton Story uh, Designer Collections 30 Exclusive Patterns. It was put out from the makers of The Knitter. And I love um, this one right here. This is what I like to knit. It's like a tunic. What well, is a tunic? And it's got buttons um, around here. Let me see if I can find the big picture. Give me just a minute. See if I can find it here. There are several things in here that um, caught my eye that I would like to knit. Um, but the, the main thing I wanted to knit was the tunic. I really like this one too. I'm going to show you while I, I'm at it. 
That's just super cute. It's cute with the skirt, but I think it would also be cute with um, pants or jeans. Oh, here it is. So that is the Medina tunic. And I love it. Um, I definitely, definitely want to knit that this year. So we'll see if I can get to it. Um, I've got a lot of plans. And since I work full time, I don't have a lot of time to knit. I try to knit every night. I take my knitting with me, but I almost never get to knit at work. But I take it just in case because you don't know if car would break down and I'd have to sit and wait. Uh, you know, and have a tire fixed or whatever. So I always carry it with me. Okay, guys. So um, one more thing. Oh, two more things. I have a book to show you. And I also have a winner for the 1930s um, Knit Along Shaw. And the winner is Simona Maloney. Um, unfortunately, she was the only one who actually crossed the finish line. I do have other viewers who are knitting one, but they didn't get to finish theirs in time. So um, I've already sent a uh, email message to uh, Simona. So congratulations, Simona. This is coming your way as soon as I get your address. It's a vintage-inspired fabric. And it's in one of my project bags um, from my store, Black Horse Fashions on Etsy. So it's super cute. Um, this I only had enough to make one bag. So yours is um, just a one-time only bag. So um, look for that in your mailbox as soon as I get your email or your mailing address. Um, so then... I guess the only other thing to show you is uh, the vintage um, pattern. Oh, before the vintage pattern, I want to do another knit along for the summer. And this one is going to be socks because I am on a sock kick and I'm ready to fill my drawer full of socks for the winter. So any kind of sock goes. It doesn't have to be my pattern. It can be any pattern you choose. Any yarn you choose, whatever you want to do is fine with me. We'll start it now. Um, socks, I'm not real picky. So if you have started a pair of socks recently but you have not finished them, then you're eligible to submit that. Um, my only thing I want to say is that you can't submit a sock that was completed last month or last year. It has to be a sock that is in the, proce in the process of being knitted. It's got to be a work in progress. So if you started it last month, that's fine as long as you haven't finished the sock. Okay, so the deadline for that is going to be, um, let's, let's make it, um, let's make it the end of August. September 1st, how about that? September 1st will be the cutoff date and there will be a prize or two, uh, depending on how many people um, sign up. Uh, there'll probably be a project bag, and there very well might be a skein of yarn. Um, so come join us. You can uh, cross post your finished projects if you're doing another knit along that includes a sock or a stitch marker or whatever. I know Vintage Rose is having a knit along with suburban knitcher, sub suburban stitcher, and Kirby, no, Kirby Warby. The three of them are doing something, and so if you're knitting a sock for one of those, you can also enter in mine. I don't care. Um, and if there's any other podcasters doing socks right now, you're welcome to post in mine as well in my knit along. So come join me. And um, let's fill up our sock drawers for fall. Okay, so the next thing is my vintage uh, book. And I will hurry because this seems like a really long podcast to me, although it really isn't. I'm only at 34 minutes. Um, but I like to keep my podcast kind of short um, because I know you don't have a whole lot of time to knit and watch a huge, long podcast all at once. At least I don't. Sometimes I have to watch my podcast in two settings um, when I'm watching another podcast. 
So anyways, I'll get going. This is um, Star Nylon book number 99. And it's all about nylon. And it's women's sweaters, men's sweaters, children's sweaters, stoles, socks, bed jackets, and baby sets. And this one is just really cute. I love looking at the pictures in this one. Definitely vintage. This book is from 19... 53 and it's put up by, by the American Thread Company and here is a hairpin lace stole that is the picture from the front this is what it looks like close up really cute um, somebody sent me the tools to make hairpin lace and someday I would love to give it a try it doesn't look too difficult and I bet I could find some YouTube videos on it Okay, here are some more patterns, a stole and a little um, cardigan. And then over here we have a sweater and a cardigan. And I absolutely love, love, love that cardigan. It has um, pearls sewn onto the front of it. And then they've got the pearl buttons down the front. Super cute. Otherwise, it's just a plain cardigan uh, with set-in sleeves and ribbing on the on the sleeve and around the neck. Here is a baby crocheted infant set. And what else? Here's a little girl's sweater and it has bows. And then a man's vest, the V-neck vest. And socks, men's socks. And I was, as I was flipping through this earlier today, I have decided that that's going to be the next socks for my husband and for Vincent. And I'm probably going to make those for Christmas. So you guys will see that in upcoming videos. Here is another pair of men's socks. Um, this one is Fair Isles with a little design. Um, I'm not very good at fair, fair Isles yet, and I definitely know that I would probably knit too tight to make a sock. So that'll have to be somewhere down the line. Here is a bed jacket. It doesn't actually show the whole picture though. It's just the design pattern in the bed jacket. Oh, here it is right here. That must be the bed jacket very cute um, it is it is crocheted my crochet will have to get better before I try that and that's it uh, the rest is just patterns but that was nylon is the name of the book it's a star nylon book number 99 all right so I guess that's it um, that is the end of the podcast I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and since I'm not going out of town next week, I will film next weekend, or at least I will try. So you guys have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.